Shall I talk you through what I'm doing quickly? Um, so, long story short, <laughs> it's a uh, kind of pitcher plant. Oh, I don't know if you can really see. Basically, this hangs kind of like this. Um, it has a little fitting on the back. And yeah, I'm just in the process of um, yeah, cleaning the design up. So uh, there's a, the digital version was sculpting was sculpted in ZBrush, and later this week I'm going to be kind of finishing the renders. But for now, I'm trying to get this finished in order to enter it into. Uh, I don't know if you saw on the Prusa website they're doing a kind of like gardening competition. And um, yeah, basically my plan is that this can be like put up in a garden and you fill this with like a sweet, um, you know, like a sweet liquid uh, or like beer. And yeah, the idea is it's like a bug catcher. So you can put it near like your picnic table or near your um, plant pots or whatever it is. And the idea is this kind of, mimics a real carnivorous pitcher plant and traps like bugs in it which is kind of gross but kind of funny um so yeah i've designed it so it prints in two parts and they print support free so the backboard which is this part prints like flat like this um this particular version was printed in uh one pet which is like a material I haven't used before. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. Um, it's a kind of made from recycled uh, plastic bottles. Um, I usually print with PLA, but I was, yeah, I was trying to buy like a green filament and I liked the idea of this one because uh, it was made from recycled materials. Uh, but turns out it's like very, very stringy. Um, so I haven't managed to get like a very clean print out of it. Uh, so I'm not sure if I will use this particular board, uh, this particular print, but I, I'm still tweaking the settings. Um, so hopefully I'll get a cleaner print. And then the central part, the kind of pitcher plant piece, uh, prints in this orientation like this on the build plate. And again, it prints without any support. Uh, I do put a, a brim you know, an adhesive brim, uh, just because it's kind of, well, you know, you're a 3D printing guru. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so it prints like this off the build plate. And then, yeah, they kind of fit like snugly together. And then uh, I've also, something I'm trying and I'm not sure if it's gonna work is, I don't know if you can really see it, but the, the pitcher plant has these little, it, it has, wait, let me turn the light down. It has little, Oh, you really can't see it, but there's little indentations basically. Um, and so I've printed those, uh, these little guys here. Theoretically, <laughs> very much theoretically, they fit into the um, indentations, uh, which again is something that I haven't really tried. Well, I, I mean, I have done that kind of thing before, but. Um, not at such a tiny scale and to be honest on screen I didn't realize quite how tiny these would be <laughs> so yeah I I don't know I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother with those just yet um but yeah that's what I'm working on and in today's stream yeah I know I mean I yeah that's the other thing it's like on the back, I've put my uh, my name and um, the the design is based on. I requested a guy called Russell Taysom who does illustrations uh, to do the sketch for me. So the I've put both our names on the back, and obviously, like I scaled it from twenty centimeters down to sixteen, and actually now the text is a bit distorted. So yeah, this is kind of an old version of the backboard. Um, but I wanted to bring it home just to see how things were looking. Um, but yeah, you're right. Everything looks bigger in CAD. <laughs> um, yeah, so at the moment I'm just sanding these guys. These are printed in, uh, well, you can probably tell in clear resin. And then I'm going to be trying a brush on 
resin coating uh, to try and increase uh, how transparent they look. Um, because ideally, yeah, I want you to be able to see like the liquid through the through the print. So yeah, that's kind of what you've just walked in on. 